Edo State Command on Sunday threw more light on the killing of Felis Olajide Shouri, a pharmacy student of Ibenedio University, Okada, by suspected kidnappers along the Beni Ore Expressway on Saturday. Edo Police Command spokesman Belo Kontongs, while addressing newsmen in Benin, said that it has become very necessary to inform the public following the panic the death of Felix Olajide Shouri has created in the community. The PPRO said it had become very necessary to inform the public because of the panic that the incident is creating among them, especially the residents of Edo State, as regard the killings of Felix Olajide Shouri on September 4, 2021, at about 6.45 on Saturday. It has become necessary for us to brief the press to inform the public that police were on top of the situation since the incident happened. The Commissioner of Police has directed a tactical team to put hands together with the Divisional Police Headquarters at Okada for the bush combing since yesterday and bush combing has started. As I speak to you, the local vigilantes in that area, the police tactical team from the State Command and the Divisional Police Headquarters at Okada are all together in the bush right now combing the forest in an effort to arrest the assailant and possibly rescue five other persons that are still with the kidnappers, he said. Kontongs Bello also told journalists that Shouri Felix was not one of the occupants of the bus that some of the passengers were kidnapped, pointing out that Shouri was only unlucky to have run into the incident. He was coming and met the situation on ground as the bus that was carrying the kidnapped passengers was actually coming from the south going towards Lagos. The bus belonged to a private transport company and broken down at around 2 a.m. in the early hours of Saturday and the occupants looked for somewhere to sleep. The early hours, the occupants came with the intention to pack their belongings from the bus but unknown to them the kidnappers have laid ambush and immediately they opened the bus the kidnappers came out from the bush and started shooting at the bus in an attempt to create fears in them but some of them tried to escape as for showery he was just a victim of circumstances he was coming from okada to benin and the kidnappers tried to stop him but he refused to stop the bullet fired by the kidnappers hit his car and one of the bullets got him and he died on the spot. He was confirmed dead by the doctors of the hospital he was rushed to and his corpse has been deposited at the Benedio University Teaching Hospital. This is the situation and the Commissioner of Police is doing everything possible to ensure that they are arrested and those kidnapped are rescued. The PPR is just um, giving the public an um, update because this has created a lot of tension. The death of uh, um, Olajide Shouri, the younger brother to Omoyele Shouri, we know Omoyele Shouri, the convener of uh, um, Hashtag Revolution now. Some persons, uh, they still feel that um, there, there is more to this. I think because of all of that, the police, they are trying to um, give updates so that Nigerians um, know what is going on. But Nigerians still believe that uh, it's, there's a possibility that um, this was a, um, like a personal target. The police, they are explaining right now that um, Shouri's brother was not part of the, the, the five persons that were kidnapped. He was a lone traveler. He was in his vehicle alone traveling. That the other passengers, they were in a bus. How they got um, details about um, that incident, I don't know, because there must be someone who would have um, recounted the story to them. But that is what the police is telling us right now, that the bus that uh, uh, five persons were kidnapped from, that their bus broke down in the middle of the night at about 2 a.m. And they decided to stay there till the break of day. They decided to stay. And that, that is really interesting to note. The bushes that people are scared of, that is the one the passengers decided to uh, just um, stay there. Anyway, it's, it was the situation beyond their control. But uh, the police is stating right now that um, Shouri's brother was just a victim of circumstance. This one is a sad one because this has thrown the whole country into uh, a state of panic. We are not safe. The insecurity we've been talking about. Suspected headsmen. Let's place a ban on open grazing. Governors are still dragging their feet and they are still uh, um, giving reasons or still playing politics. 
Governor Gordon Obaseki yesterday, he, he made his own statement when he commiserated with the family of um, Shogori, stating that uh, he, actions has uh, um, started to fish out the killers and to bring to book. The police, in his statement, um, stated that uh, the, the kidnappers tried to stop Shogori's brother and he, will, he refused to stop. It was one of the bullets that got him and he died on the spot very sad one and this what he, what the ppr is stating right now is that and uh, what they are doing right now is that they are combing all the bushes they don't have to wait till somebody dies before they start combing the bushes these are activities and these are things that they would have been doing ongoing so that because where did these kidnappers come from they came from that same bush the bushes and they are they are combing the bushes now five persons are still in their custody we just pray that um, they are alive that they are kept safe it's a terrible situation we are in under president muhammad buhari's government buhari sponsoring insecurity banditry up to now banditry has not been prescribed but he can prescribe ipop and he can prescribe odudua uh, he can call sunday Igboho a terrorist a very surprising situation very sad one i pray that god will give show the grace to bear this loss you know show broke the news very sad news that it's a very bad day for him it's a bad day he's just lost his younger brother to the hands of a uh, fulani headsman this same fulani headsman that buhari has been um covering up for giving reasons that uh, they should now be in every community he wants to give lands to them in every community and this same fulani headsman they've committed so many atrocities and they snatch life out of young people this show race brother someone with a very bright future studying uh pharmacy at the igmenedio university they just snatch life out of him well, uh, we hope that uh, Oda Kantong had just stated that um, they will follow suit, that truly, truly justice will be saved. They will bring the killers to book, but they still need to go more than that. They still need to go more than that. Let our forest be clear of all of these uh, of killer Fulani headsmen who are there. They've set trap for people who are on the motorway. People must travel. So are they saying that we should not travel again? Are they saying that we should not move? God will show this country mercy. Well, guys, um, this is a statement. The police, they've just given updates on the killing of um, uh, Shouri's brother, Olajide Shouri. Thank you once again, guys, for staying tuned. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. If it's your very first time, you're very welcome. Hit on the subscribe button. God bless you. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.